plan to vlog a little bit. Oops. I made it to for real, girl. Excuse the fro. I'm getting a diva cut today. You know who is with me. Hi. And that's for real, girl. And we made it. Okay. I'm gonna bust up in here like a wild woman. Okay, I won't vlog until she actually does my hair. <laughs> Hi. Good of you. Hey. This is the before before the magic happens. <laughs> I came in as Don King. Now I'm gonna leave as someone else. <laughs> That's Bridge back there, chilling. That's not nice. Really? <laughs> really? Now, will you, will you be able to share that with me? Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. Alright, so you ready? I'm ready. I'm about to get this diva cut in for real girl by Angela Holland. That's Hello, her right everybody. there. Hello everybody. This is my beautiful <laughs> client Betty. She's coming in for her diva cut and we decided that we're going to layer these sides. Stack the back a little bit and then give her layers here. So she can be as fabulous as she wants to be. So let me grab some clips. Cool, works for me. Bye to the Don King look that you're seeing now. <laughs> Bye, Don King. Bye, Don King. Really? <laughs> Bridget, you made me sick. <laughs> Don King, huh? Yeah, that's what I like to call it once it's... Once it gets yeah. there. <laughs> so. All right, we'll section it off for you. A lot of clips. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Just let me know if you get too close to me. You're too close to me. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very no much. Problem. That's the other half of the real girl in the orange shirt. In the orange shirt? In the orange shirt, yep. The mastermind <laughs> behind it. <laughs> All right. Oh, and don't worry about finding her. I will leave it in the comment section below, the address and phone numbers and all that good stuff. So that will be in the um, comment or description box, I should say. You can find that information. So do you want, to, you want me to talk about what a diva cut is at sure. all? Sure, yeah. Okay, so basically a diva cut is a cut for curly hair. And what we do is we look at each curl family and cut it individually. We don't cut the diva cut bluntly like that. We go up at an angle so that when you get into uh, the, curl, the different stages of the curl family, you don't snag or cause them to um, have the, uh, the ends tangled or broken or ragged. So that's the, the purpose of a diva cut, and it takes, like I said, each girl family, it looks at it. Um, you look at it before you cut. You might have seen me looking at some of her ends um, before I actually made the cut because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a curl that belonged to another curl family. So, and we're doing layers on her hair, so. Like this piece here that actually belongs to another curl family because it's longer. I don't know if you can see that sticking out there. So what I have to do is just take that away. Because if you cut it like that, you could cause her to have some split ends. Always cut in manageable sections when you're doing 
doing a haircut, the, the, the diva cuts. have you had your channel um since like 2009 but not i wasn't as active on it as i've become lately okay yeah i have to follow you on youtube i know to even it i probably will follow i think i filmed the second time you did my hair i think i should film it okay I think I might have filmed it with my phone then though. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But it is on there, it's been a while back. Yeah. Yeah. One of the questions too that I was asked by a friend is when you get a diva cut, you can still do twist outs? Yes, because a lot of people do. are under the conception that you cannot because you'll have frayed ends sticking out. I'm like, I don't think so. No, um, actually when you're doing twists and uh, braid outs and bantu knots and things like that, you want the, the frayed ends because when you're twisting, if your ends are blunt and perfect, the mm -hmm. twists are going to come unraveled. The braids are not going to uh, uh. stay together. Then you'll end up putting the rollers on the end. So okay. when you're doing, when I have a client that wants those type of styles, and they want their ends trimmed. I was just explaining to them, you know, you can't do that if you're going to wear this type of style. Oh, okay. um, that's why you see a lot of people will just get their uh, ends uh, trimmed when they are doing blowouts and get their oh, hair straight because then okay. you have the perfect look. Right. So when you're doing twist outs, braid outs, bantu knots, you definitely want it to be a little ragged so your twists will stay okay. and your braids won't come unwrap. Oh, yeah. okay. Any other questions? Oh, that was the main one because I mo I mainly wear wash and goes, <laughs> but every now and then I'll venture into a twist up, but mine never come out right. It's and like, the the uh, diva cut is perfect for the wash and go person, but it also um, is good for any anybody with curly hair who's okay. having problems getting the right cut, right? Or you know, uh, whose hair may need to be cut so they can regrow out their curls and things like that. It's it's a perfect cut for that. Oh, okay. And not much is coming off. <laughs> no, people that fear haircuts is like it's not much being cut with a diva cut. It's not a no, major we haircut. No, basically, a lot of times your, your hair already has its style, okay. and I may go in and you know get some stray pieces after we do the cut. I may go in and do that, but as far as the cut itself, we're, you already have a shape, okay. so you, we're just adding to or enhancing the shape that you already have. Okay, so we're done with these pieces. What do you think? Can you see it? Yeah. There's your... Mm -hmm. I call it a teardrop. Because it looks like, you know, a tear. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I, I'm sure that's probably not the right name. Yeah. But that's, it reminds me of a teardrop. So we're done with the front and the sides. So we're going to start at your back. Like I said, we're just going to stack it a little bit. I'm not going to take a lot off. But just okay. sort of stack up just a little bit. Okay. Your hair feels good. Oh, it's been through some things. <laughs> What have you done? Obsessed with color. Oh, okay. Because oh, you, you had the red, right? I had the red, but I'm oh, gonna. So, so you you gave it a, the boot. You <laughs> gave it the boot. It. So what are you into now? Just the the black. Okay. Yeah, just black. Did you go straight back black, solid black? Yeah, I did a permanent, and then I every now and then I'll do a rinse to, because I don't want to keep doing permanent Is that on top what you're of doing permanent. with the uh, for the gray doing the rinse. Yes. The beautiful collection is what I've been been using. Who's that by? It's by uh, L'Oreal. Okay. But the I noticed with the black hair, I don't see the gray as much. Whereas with the red hair, it seemed like the gray in the front stood out a lot. It looked weird to me. Well, see, the the gray has no pigmentation, so you when you're coloring it, you're basically adding that true color to the gray. Ooh. Um. So that's why when you do your red, your gray might came out 
pink? Yes. <laughs> because red and white makes pink. And I had a few a few folks ask me too how to get that pink and I'm like, I didn't try to do red. pink. Yeah. Right. So your your uh when you go into the store and you see your color swatches, they're made with gray hair or white hair. Hair oh, that has yeah, no tell me color yeah. or no pigmentation. That's why when you get it uh colored and you're um we have dark hair. Mm -hmm. That's why it doesn't come out exactly like the box unless you add a little bleach to remove your pigmentation oh, from your actual hair. I definitely didn't want to do that. I've been down that road four years ago. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, but even your box colors have bleach in them because well, yeah. it has to uh, it has to give you the color that they promise you on the box. Yeah. So, yeah. Just a little nugget for it. <laughs> <laughs> but the hardest part was being red since the age of 16 and then seeing myself with black hair. How does I that had, feel? I had to adjust. Yeah, are you adjusted now? Oh yeah, because I think you can see the curl definition better. You know, and I hear a lot of my clients when I color their hair, they say the opposite. They like the color, like the, the, color. Light, the blonder colors yeah. or the lighter colors yeah. because then they feel like it shows their color, their curl definition better. Wow. It's like, oh, I can see my curl pattern now <laughs> because the hair is, you know, yeah. blonde or whatever. You trying to persuade me to go back to red? No, no, no. <laughs> Look, if I, I love color, so that's no colors wrong as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and you know, a stylist we're gonna love color anyway. Yeah, that's true. So, You're gonna show them the hair that's on the floor with your dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not much at all. For ones that fear getting the diva cut. <laughs> And everybody's different too. It depends on what what cut you want, what shape you want. That's true. That the is condition true. of your hair that also takes into account, um, you know, because if your curls are split halfway up the shaft, then I'm right. not gonna cut your hair like that. But we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll have a conversation, and I'll say, okay, you know, this is where it's damaged to. Mm -hmm. This is where, um, you know. We could cut, but if you're not comfortable, we're not cutting it like that. And then I'll give you some alternatives on oh, okay. how to style your hair or how to take care of it right. in between to get it to revert back to the nice curly right. you know, hair that you're used to. Then I've had people come in with a, a short cut and they've got really long hair. Wow. And they'll want the short cut. Wow. And they'll go through with it. We'll <laughs> cut it. I think one, one of my clients have been growing hers since eighth grade. Man, she came in and put it at her um, her shoulders. It was wow. like mid back. I like that. I'll just take a little bit off here. Yeah, I used to wonder about that because I always have that cone head look if I do the afro like I came in today. <laughs> Of the pony <laughs> because all the hair is up top like that. I'm like, what the? <laughs> and it's just your hair just grows faster than that. <laughs> so then, you know, when you're thinking about cuts, then you want to consider cuts that actually complement the way your hair grows. So right. Some people don't know to think about that, or they won't think about it. What you think? That's that's the best. That's the best deal. <laughs> so what I'm going to do? We'll go ahead and give you a mirror, and you can look at the back. Okay. You can see the shape that we gave you in the back. Just make sure it goes away. I always come through with these little stray pieces that are just lurking around. Mm -hmm. Actually goes up to where that your line. hair is actually longer, so it doesn't make it look separate. Right. It doesn't. Okay. We, we joined it together, so now it looks like one head of hair. Okay. And that's also a goal of a diva cut. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. So here's what we cut. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that's it. Wow. Take more. Go to the bowl. Every time I stop 
texting you? It's locked. You want me to unlock it? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Hi, Helen. Hi. So you just seen three too? No, not today. Not today? All right. Hey, I got some of that. <laughs> <laughs> it does wonders for the sides. <laughs> All right, so lay back for me. Just relax. So we're just going to make sure we separate the hair with water. Because okay. as you remember, Beaver Curl works best with water. The more water, the better the product works. Mm -hmm. A little bit, just a little bit. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Our first step is our no poo. Here. It's the cleanser. It's gonna go in there and cleanse the scalp. It's got some peppermint in it that smells amazing. It also helps to relax. I use a lot of products. So um, with Diva Curl, it's water soluble, so you don't have to worry about it uh, building up on the hair because the water breaks it down right away after. You get it in there and make it do what it needs to do. For a nice scalp massage. work the product through the hair. We start at the scalp to clean the scalp but work it through the hair. Get the hair clean. condition pushes the moisture back into the strands that the uh, uh, the no poo has removed mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm all of it no that smells good I love it <laughs> this stuff smells really good they changed the smell one time and people revolted so they they added it back oh okay mm -hmm. Put it right back in there. It's time for a new bottle. We have to take the cap off mm -hmm. <laughs> and pour it into the hand. <laughs> but we gotta work this all the way through. I'm gonna have them sit up so they can see what it looks like and you actually get the coverage for the one condition okay. that they need. Oh, 
person. <laughs> can you see that so they can see what it looks like? All covered with the one condition. And one condition is a rinse out, but it has more than one purpose. You can use it as a daily uh, curl moisturizer by doing half one condition and half water. It's a perfect amount for her curls. Just work it through, making sure all of the strands are covered. And as I'm messing, I'm scrunching her curls in place. You can leave a little bit of one condition in just for the uh, moisturizing or moisture effect, but it's your choice. Can you grab some towels? Okay. Flip your hair over the towels. This is the styling part. Just lean comfortably. Well, <laughs> Not into the floor. <laughs> I said comfortably. <laughs> so we're gonna um, style her hair with the Diva Curl Styling Cream. They have one with the coconut in it. I'm not using that today. I haven't. I don't have a favorite. I haven't. I don't prefer one over the other. It's just whatever I run out of. I'll grab whatever's close on the shelf. And as you can see, it's pushing the moisture in there. Those curls are forming really good. What are you doing? Uh, it's called the Diva 3-Step. And it's a curl, it's a product for curly hair. And when they wear their hair like in their natural curly state, this helps to push moisture into the strands and it redefines the curls. Gotta get on my knees. And like I said, I just shingle it through. Curly community knows what that is. They know what shingling is from the wash and go phase. <laughs> <laughs> or so we just put it on through here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's what you want to hear when you're using this product. That means that the product and the water ratio is at its optimum for optimum performance. It's at the right levels. It also removes the frizz. I don't know if you guys can tell how the frizz is going away from her hair. And the curl is being replaced by nice, smooth, defined curls. One more squirt to go in the front. You can sit up comfortably. And <laughs> <laughs> well, now we'll come back and we'll just. And now they can see your actual cut. <laughs> it looks a little funny before we put the product on. But we cut the hair dry in its natural state so the client can see the actual cut in, the, in both states, what, what it looked like day three, day four and what it looks like when it's freshly washed. Or freshly shampooed, excuse me. Okay. I'm gonna follow it up with some Mr. Right. She goes under the dryer for 15 minutes. <laughs> Don't want to manipulate the curls too much. 
but we do want to get them in place so that once the hair is dry, then it just falls out the door. All right, to the dryer, ma'am. Ooh. <laughs> I'll be right there. I'm going to sneak a peek. <laughs> I came in looking like Don King, and now I'm a woman. <laughs> really? No, I can't be Flavor Flav. Come on. She's good, I told you. Now it has shape, right? Definitely. Put your purse here. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I don't want to put it on the floor. All right, so 15 minutes, and you're done. What, all a 45 minute service? Right. <laughs> now, was that any chemical or anything? No, ma'am. No chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dreaded dryer, though. <laughs> Which means you guys can't hear me, so I'll come back when I'm out from under the dryer. <laughs> So we're back. She's done. Finishing her off with the Mr. Right. He treats you right. Right. That doesn't hey, sound right, but okay. You can't even. <laughs> he, it's, they did it good. He treats, he treats your curls right. It's basically a curl uh, moisturizer, revitalizer. But she's all done. Cuts in place. It's our recent one, you know? Um, I'm All right. I'm happy. Uh, you happy? Yeah. <laughs> You're good. And I'm going yeah, to be on that stylist because I'm always going to be picking to try to. Sorry. I'm going to be with them there. Well, if you have a fan. All right. I get to keep this? No. I might need that for later. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You know, it's probably a oh yeah! Oh, the shape is much better. No doubt. Yes, yes, yes. Much better than my wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at you! You should have been my camera person. I should have. You should have. But I'm pitiful. Why? I should have. It's my new assistant. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I have shape. Shape. And see, nobody understands when you're trying to get your hair in a shape. Everybody thinks you hear a haircut and everybody goes, oh, don't cut your hair. Hair grows back, people. And it's a diva cut and she doesn't cut that much off. For real. That's for real, girl, of course. <laughs> Let me show you the door so you can get the number and everything too. But I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. I will definitely do that. So now me and Bridge gonna go somewhere. I don't know where we're gonna go. We're gonna find somewhere to eat too and all that good stuff. So yeah, and my favorite part of the day. My favorite part of the day. I'm not gonna film that. So uh, this is it. This is goodbye. <laughs> Until the next video. Peace. <laughs>